A thriving port on one of the finest harbors in northern Newfoundland, this was Little Bay Islands 75 years ago. Here it is today. Very few boats left, businesses shuttered, most people retired or elderly. The town is dying. The man leading the push for government-funded resettlement says there's no going back to an illustrious past. Fish plants going full tilt, stores, five or six stores there. Lots of people, 150 people, uh, kids in school. But now you got two people in school, <laughs> and that's it. And you never see no one here because everybody's that age. Nobody goes out here in the nighttime walking around. There's nowhere to go. People tell me, hey, well, you're nuts. I don't feel that way, but everybody's entitled to their opinion, I guess. Nearly 90% of residents voted to resettle last year, not Perry Locke. He and his wife have two of the few full-time jobs. Their young son thrives as one of the few students in school. But awaiting a government decision he dreads, Locke is increasingly at odds with his neighbours. It's almost like the mentality is there to just let everything go, 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 till it just, everything collapses. I think that's where everything is, everybody's just figuring to just leave it alone and let everything collapse and lock it up and leave. In Newfoundland, they call villages like this an outport, remote yet close-knit, and once upon a time, vibrant and viable places to raise a family. Since the 1950s, nearly 30,000 people have been paid by the government to leave the coast, one of the biggest internal migrations in Canada. Officials say it's cheaper, more efficient to fund resettlement now than to keep delivering services to a dying community. Not everyone agrees. There are things that, that we can do, I'm sure of it. I, I, I think most people would feel like me, it would be, it's just terrible to contemplate a Newfoundland with outports continuing to shut down. This rugged shore was one of the first places where Europeans arrived in North America, where settlement of the continent began. They found a rich fishery, developed a unique way of life at the edge of the North Atlantic. Now many are leaving, however reluctantly, as fish stocks decline and the world around them changes. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Little Bay Islands, Newfoundland.